Would you believe me if I told you you could create an embroidery design of a custom ultrasound in less than five minutes? One of my longtime, really close friends finally had a girl after a handful of boys, so I really wanted to make her something special and not something you could just find in the store. I mean, who doesn't like having something personalized? I used the design doodler to replicate one of her ultrasound pictures to make a wall hanging and a, and a forever keepsake. Now join me in the next few minutes as I show you how to create your own. Now I have no prior experience in digitizing, but with the design doodler, I can simply draw and trace photos into machine ready embroidery designs with just a few clicks. And as a bonus, I can do it from my own couch. Okay, so first I'm gonna open a new window within the design doodler and open up a backdrop and choose the image I want to bring in. It will automatically come in, but if you don't see it, you can just go to the little eye where you can open and close and it'll bring the artwork back in and out. I'm gonna select the artwork and here I can change the size and dim the artwork down a little bit. And if I click off the object, then that's where it is. And so because I'm gonna do this all at once, I'm gonna zoom in a bit by clicking the zoom button and I will give it a couple of clicks. And I can also pan around wherever I want. I'm gonna make sure I have all the objects up in my palette bar and I'm gonna choose the first color. So I'm gonna choose this orange color and it's just so I can see it. I have my docker here and I'm gonna click the middle where I can choose the different tools. I have a fill stitch chosen, so I'm just gonna start drawing around the outline of the baby. Even though it's hard to know what is baby and what's not, you can for sure use your own discretion um, and you really just have fun with it. And the best thing here is there are no wrong ways to make this. Okay, so there's my object and I can click this 3D button to turn off the 3D view. I'm gonna select that object and hide it in my sequence view docker so I can't see it. I'm gonna choose another color and to get the tool, I'll just click the center of the widget. With this next color, I'll outline the lighter gray areas um, it doesn't have to be exact. I'll select that color in the sequence view docker and hide it as well. I'll then choose my lightest color and go over the lightest colors on the ultrasound scan. And I'm just gonna go over this last piece here. And now that all three are done, I'm gonna select all the colors and bring them back in. And I can now start to adjust the densities. So I'll click off the last two colors. The first color's density is at 0.4 millimeters and I'm gonna actually change it to 0.8 millimeters. And I'm also gonna press the travel on edge button. Then I'll turn that one off and I'll do the next one but I'll turn that density to one millimeter and the travel on edge button. I'll then turn that one off and then I'll go to the last one. So I'll turn the density to 1.2 millimeters, oops, uh, 1.2 millimeters and also click the travel on edge button again. After the densities are changed, I can then turn the design to 3D and see the very loose densities in three different colors. And I can now go to the bottom here and click this button to hide the artwork we traced. And there it's gone. Now, if you want to, you can change your colors. So I can make that one black. I can select the next one and make it light gray. And the last color I'm going to actually make white. And there's your ultrasound baby. I'm gonna to go to the side here and press the save button. I'll save it as a JDX file and also save as a machine file as well since I'm on a PC. I then stitched up my design on my machine and let my doodle come to life. I ended up putting this design in a wooden embroidery hoop and I added a few flowers and a cute little bow but you can totally embellish your ultrasound scan as much as you'd like. 
And this was my final result, and I couldn't be happier. And if you haven't already, make sure you download the free Doodler demo following the link below and see how easy you can create a special design for someone you love.